Hello everyone and welcome back to Hilltop Farm here in Stardew Valley. It's winter in year two and today I'm going to be planting my winter seeds. I've got 200 of them so I'm just going to get on with that. Making a bit of a mess of this one. Get them all in because that's going to be my main income through the winter. I'll get back to you when I've got a bit further on. Right, that's all my winter seed in. And, uh, oh look, one... <laughs> I missed one there. Don't think I've got enough stuff to make another one for that. I'm quite happy to see my uh, stumps, uh, mushroom stumps are making mushrooms okay let's go and see if these have done them oh that's good they're a lot easier to navigate when they're stumps I didn't think you could actually have uh, what do they call it tappers on stumps however I'm not complaining just checking for sparkly things in the water Oh, I might. oh, can I get that one? I might as well. You do get a lot more worms in the winter, but they do tend to be uh, the winter things. Okay, and I put the rest of them up here. It's annoying me with that one. That's it. We might as well pop in here and see if I've got anything ready. Not yet. Right, I was just downtown and popped in to see Harvey to give him a gift and we walked into another cutscene. Ah, uh, Hazel, I was just about to write you a letter. You see, my records indicate that you're due for your annual checkup. Now, now, there's no need to worry. It'll be quick and painless. Follow me. Okay, hold still, please. Say ah. Oh. Okay, you can stop. I just need to check your vitals. <laughs> Hmm, your pulse is high. I'm a little nervous. I'm out of breath from working on the farm. Are you really a doctor? My pulse is fine. I think I'll go for that one. Uh, okay, if you say so. Well then, you seem very healthy, Hazel. Just make sure not to over your, overwork yourself on that farm. Thanks for stopping in. Not a problem. And straight after that one, we've got another one with Harvey. Hello, hello. Is anyone out there? This is Dr. H at 52 North 43.5 East. Seeking aerial response. Anyone out there? Copy, Dr. H on the ground. This is a Blackbird Fiver. Fiver Zuzu. Anything to report? Someone's there. <laughs> uh, I mean, standard ground report. Wind at three clicks, 36 degrees north of west. Ground temperature at 42 crags. Humidity 53%. Dr. H out. Yikes, my pulse is soaring. Hazel. Ask Harvey why he's all flustered. Pretend everything's like normal. No, we'll ask him why he's all flustered. Oh, well, you see, I was just on my radio here and I made contact with a real pilot. 
as a matter of fact, we can probably see him flying overhead right now. Quick, get over here. Look. <laughs> An aeroplane. I'm sure she's seen one before. As a kid, my dream was always to be a pilot. But with my bad eyesight and crippling fear of heights, that dream started to fade away. It's okay, don't be sad. I've grown to accept my station in life. Not everyone can achieve their dreams. That's just the way the world is. Hey, let me show you my model aeroplanes. <laughs> I've just finished the new TR Starbird Deluxe set. If you must, Starvey. And yet another cutscene. <laughs> After leaving uh, Harvey, I came down to the beach and here's Elliot. Look, I fixed up that old rowboat that's been sitting by my house. Pretty nice, huh? Hazel, would you do me the honour of joining me for her maiden voyage? Go on then. So, my book's been out for quite a while now. It's not a bestseller or anything, but it's been getting some good reviews from the critics. And I really couldn't have finished it without your moral support. Actually, that's not true at all. I, I would have finished it either way. But I'm grateful that you believed in me and in my vision. And well, um, Hazel, how do I say this? Well, we've been friends for a while now, but I'm, I'm not sure if I feel that way about you anymore. No, I'm not saying I want to cut all ties with you. In fact, quite the opposite. Let's see, how do I put this? For once, I'm at a loss for words. Hazel, you're trembling. Uh, I'm happy. You're making me very uncomfortable. Stop. No, I'll go for I'm happy. So am I. Oh, the vibration from your body has caught the attention of a crimson fish. Oh, I love it. We'd better get out of here. Look at the valley from here. It finally looks like home. I can't see a damn thing, Elliot. It's snowing. What a day. Now it's the following day and I've opened my mail and Elliot says meet me at the docks on a sunny morning. I've something in mind. I could have swore I've just done that. But, uh, oh, never mind. He might have another treat in store for me. Oh, we'll just put more uh, of these in, I think. Now then, not a lot to do today, so uh, I think I'll just go around giving gifts. Now I've got another help wanted poster from Kent. He wants a sardine. Uh, I have a feeling I can only catch them later on at night, but I'll accept the quest. I'm just have a look what quest we've got up here. There's that one. The Skull Key, we know about that one. A lobster for Gus and buy a coop, I think. Right, I'm on my way 
I'm going to go to George's and give him, oh, another cutscene. Uh, I just can't reach it. If only I could get up from this infernal chair. Thanks, miss. It happened 30 years ago. I was working in the coal mines. We were near the end of our shift, but there was one last seam that needed to be broken up. I went in there aiming to set off a stick of dynamite, but my foot slipped into a crack and I dropped it. The dynamite exploded on impact. The next thing I remember, I was lying in the hospital, and they told me I'd never walk again. Ah, oh, poor old George. So there you have it. You probably figured out I was just too old to walk. Well, I'll have you know that I'd be sprier than a spring chicken if I hadn't been in that accident. You've been really nice to me, miss. I appreciate it. When you're old, you start to forget that anyone cares about you. Right, here we go. Let me give George his leek. No, I don't want to eat the leek. What are we on? Six out of ten. That's okay. Right, I've just been doing a spot of fishing and I've got my sardine. Who wanted it? Kent. One sardine. Right, we'll go and find him. And I've just spotted Kent coming home, so there's your sardine, Kent. And how much did I get for a sardine? 120, that's okay. Would you believe it? I was just wandering about the uh, the woods looking for forage and I got another ancient seed. That's two really close together, yet I had to wait two years almost to get the first one. I've got another assignation uh, tonight. It's from Penny who says, meet me in the bathhouse after dark. I'll try and remember Penny. Thank you. Have I got one of those? I'll keep it just in case. Right, I'm going to pop into the greenhouse and uh, see if I've got anything ready in there. Oh, cranberries. Not a lot. Oh, I can put my other ancient seed in here now, can't I? So that's something I'll do. I'll have to sacrifice something. Um, I have a feeling these are all pumpkins. I know these are sweet gem berries, so it might be a pumpkin. I'll think about it. Now I've come down to Pierre's because uh, I want to buy a couple more bouquets. I think one for Abigail and one for Harvey, if I'm not mistaken. And while I'm here, I'll give uh, Pierre a gift. I have the very thing. Nine out of ten. So I'll go and see if I can find Harvey. Oh, there he is, jolly good. Here you are, Harvey. <laughs> You're welcome. I didn't know you felt the same. <clears throat> It's a lot of work being a doctor. I don't eat as well as I should. What's that got to do with it? If I didn't live alone, I think it would be easier. Right. <coughs> uh, right, let's go in here and look for Abigail. And Shin.
Yes, uh, she is. And there uh, you go, Abigail. I didn't know you felt this. I've heard that somewhere before today. It goes by so fast, doesn't it? Mm. Now, since it's Thursday, I think I'm going to go to the desert and stock up on speed grow, ready for the spring. I won't leave it too late. It's nice to get away from that snow, isn't it? Oh, we'll have a look around for worms while I'm here. stone so far and more clay ah oh, a golden relic have I got that one no oh good that's one out of the way from the desert oh and I see more worms here could I be so lucky no right I don't think I see any more so we'll pop in Now have I got anything to give? I think I can give her a daffodil as a gift. I'm not sure if it's a favourite, but it might help. Good, good. Right, I'll get on with the uh, Vinus Speed Grow. Now it's the next day and yesterday I totally forgot my assignation with Penny. I have another one today uh, with Abigail. Hopefully I'll remember. I probably won't. Uh, what would you like? An Iridium bar? Uh, not yet. I'll take the quest, but uh, I don't have one to spare. And yesterday I put a few more winter seeds in. I made some seeds with the uh, forage I've been finding. Right, today's Friday. It's Travelling Cart Lady. And... Um, what's his name? Crobus. So I'm off down there. The travelling cart lady hasn't really got a lot to offer. I don't think I'm needing any of these things desperately. There's a lobster beast there, but I've caught all the fish in the game now. So I don't... Uh, although... Um, what sits comes round again in the spring the legend uh oh i'm a rich woman now what's it? that to me truffle oil the bear has had his truffle oil so i think that's it from her today right off to see crobus right here we are crobus now i can't give you wallpaper but i do have a wild horseradish i actually missed his birthday on monday we're still only one heart but we'll have an Iridium sprinkler, please. Well, it's the following day, and forget what, I forgot to go to uh, Abigail's assignation. That'll be no surprise to you. Because I was doing this, I put some uh, carpet in, all the same throughout my house, ready for when I get the... Uh, the thingy catalogue and I think this can go as well can't it I don't want that either and this is going to go somewhere else I don't want that spoiling the ambience I'm not sure do you have to put it inside the house or can you put it outside how can I stick it oh look my uh, things are ready can I stick it there that'll do right I'll uh, Go and dump this chicken statue up here. That's it. This is my rubbish bin. Well, it's all the stuff I don't want and stuff I can sell, maybe, at the Adventurer's Guild. And that goes in there. Right, I'll get this collected in. 
I'll get some more seeds made and get them planted. Right, that's going to be uh, it for episode 17. I'll be uh, continuing with this one uh, tomorrow, that's Saturday, uh, on the live stream at 5pm. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you've liked the video, then please press like. And of course, as I always ask you, I'd love you to subscribe. You can do that by pressing the red thumbprint at the end of the video. So hopefully I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.